Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Canon R10 and Canon 90D. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Canon R10 and the Canon 90D are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 24th of May 2022 and the 28th of August 2019. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Canon R10. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Canon 90D. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Canon R10 and the Canon 90D. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Canon R10. And here are some sample photos from the Canon 90D. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Canon R10. I bought the R10 as my first pro camera, but returned it for the R7 because it was too small for my big hands. The R10 takes great pictures, but the IBIS on the R7 works better for shaky hands. The R10 has a super tiny viewfinder with unnecessary cropping, making it difficult to use the info screens. The lens is amazing though, and I ended up rebuying it with the R7 for its versatility. I purchased this camera to kickstart my career as a photographer in my beauty salon. I made monthly payments for it, and it was definitely worth the investment. The image quality is amazing and the RF lenses and autofocus are top-notch. The camera has practically paid for itself. I highly recommend it. Here's what people have to say about the Canon 90D. I have been a Canon shooter for years, and after trying out various other options, I finally found the 90D to be the perfect camera for birding, nature, and macro photography. The improved resolution, autofocus, and overall performance have surpassed my expectations. The battery life is also improved, and the camera is not too heavy for travel. The, the Canon 90D is a great camera with some impressive upgrades from previous models. The 32MP sensor provides detailed photos, the 1011 FPS burst is a nice upgrade, and the addition of 4K video is a big plus. The improved battery life, solid build and thumbstick are all great features. However, the price is high and the lack of a second card slot and disappointing buffer size are drawbacks. Overall, it's a worthwhile upgrade from the ADD but may not be necessary for everyone. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Canon R10, we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Canon 90D, we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10.